So, special welcome to Million Dollar Practice Builders. Five minutes on the factory floor. Here we are on the glorious Custer factory floor where we're shipping leads out to clients all over the country. All kinds of chiropractors, dentists, veterinarians, all kinds of guys. But this is a special uh, short uh, show edition that we want to give to you where we're going to cover one particular topic and make you that much smarter as a marketer and, uh, you know, get a little further along. And I'm going to work real hard to dispel false information because there's a lot of marketing information out there, but there's a lot of false information out there. And it's actually easier to take care of the false stuff because then once you hear the false stuff, all this stuff is truth, right? There we go. Ooh, very zen, right? That made a lot of sense, actually. All right, good. So today's topic is no shows and your marketing leads, all right? So um, situation happened recently. This would spark, spark, made us come up with this idea for the show was we had a client who said, oh, uh, we, had, uh, we had so many no shows, we need to stop those marketing campaign. We need to stop the marketing campaign. So what he was saying is that the person asked for an appointment at his office, his person contacted, his office contacted that person and had them schedule, right? Mm -hmm. The person scheduled right. and then didn't show. So he decides that it's the marketing, it's the advertising that's wrong, right? Now, it's a, pet, it's a pet peeve, but you know, it's basically, I understand how someone gets there, but it's a fault in logic, right? Yeah, exactly. And it's, and in order, you have to think of it this way too. Oh, by the way, this is Merle Stepper, oh. you guys. He's the executive vice president of operations here at the Custer Factory. If, you're, uh, if your campaign has been in our quality control division, that's under him, and he's one of the smartest people I know. Well, thank you. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, anyway, what I was saying is if you, I mean, this is not just for no-shows, but this is with anything in life, really. If you want to fix something, you have to have the right why for why what went wrong. Like, what, what is the thing that actually went wrong? So if you look at, like John said, if you look at the chain of what happened when we're actually leading up to a no-show, you had a marketing campaign went out, somebody saw it, it appealed to them and they raised their hand and said, yes, I'm interested. Your office actually talked to that person, got them scheduled, they went through whatever um, you know, confirming and reconfirming process you have, and then the day of the appointment, they did not arrive. And taking that and saying, okay, good, something must be wrong, with the marketing just actually just doesn't well, make sense. Well, it's the other thing, if you fix the wrong problem, you don't fix the actual real problem. Yeah, right? exactly. You get the wrong cause. It's kind of like, you imagine if a doctor submitted his paperwork to an insurance company and the insurance claim got denied, you should go, well, doctor, I guess your service was no good because the insurance claim got denied. You're like, no, no, the, the, the service was good. The insurance claim is something different, right? It was another mistake that somewhere else billing, coding somehow, right? So that's, it's one of those kind of disconnects. It's easy to see. It looks like it matches, but it doesn't, right? Exactly. So when it comes to no-shows, how do you actually fix no-shows? Well, you have to look at where where did it actually fall down? And the easiest, and I'll tell you that when John talks about pet peeves, I've one of the first things I ask, actually not even one of the first thing I always ask a client, if they say, hey, we had no-shows, my first question always is, okay, well, what did the person say when you call them to find out why they didn't show up? And 95% of the time, the answer I get back is, well, we didn't actually call. So, they, so the answer, the, the real answer to your question might be lying right there. If you just call the person and follow and tenaciously, like go after that person and actually get them, you will, you, will, you will find out one of two things. Either A, there actually was some legitimate thing that happened, which there could, something could have happened. Or two, the person may not have been really close in the first place. And you'll, because if you call up and they say, yeah, well, I really wasn't, didn't, didn't, you know, change my mind or I decided to go well, somewhere else. When you listen else. to some of these calls, but actually when you listen to the calls of the schedules, they'll sometimes person says, yeah, I'll try to make it by then. That's <laughs> not a schedule. <laughs> if, the, if the prospect says, I'll try to make it in by two o'clock, that's not, it's like, well, can we count on you being there by two? Will you, will you let right. us know if something comes up? You know, that kind of thing, right? It's gotta be a firm schedule. Sometimes the schedule isn't that firm. And that's an easy, easy training fix, by the way. All you have to do, you put them through some simple training on how to handle that. Yeah, exactly. And and there's also other little, be, beyond the marketing, but we can help you with this. There's lots of other things you can do too. It's the, the whole idea of the series of yeses. Before, when you do schedule someone, have them go ahead and fill out the paperwork online. Have them go ahead and start a questionnaire. Do, there are steps rather than, okay, good, you're scheduled for Tuesday at nine, we'll see you then. And then waiting the 24, 48 hours, whatever it might be until they actually arrive. There are things to get them to make small commitments up to that point and actually help them to show right. up. There's a whole bunch of things you can do to fix it, but yes. but telling somebody like, like say you got a referral from somebody and the person didn't show up, you don't go back to that person and say, oh, the referral was bad. And there's something else in the whole process that was bad, right? So anyway, exactly. so I guess the moral of the story is solve the right problem and you'll get the solution, you'll, you'll get the right solution. Uh, solve the wrong problem and it'll continue to persist. So if you were to change your marketing but never really fix why the no-shows were happening, 
then next time you have a great marketing program, it'll, it'll be blunted because it won't work because of the same old problem is still sitting there festering, okay? Exactly. All right, good. Well, that's all we have today for this quick little bite of knowledge. I hope you got something out of this and we'll see you in the next video. Bye, back to work. We're going right. back to work for- Let's do it. We gotta shit those leaves out the window now. All, <laughs> all right, right, let's go. All right.